Hi, I am Megan Hepner, creative editor for Creating Keepsakes magazine. And today I want to talk to you about the summertime. When it's warm outside, head inside to your local department store over to the seasonal aisle where you're going to find summery ideas for storing your scrapbook stash. We have three of those for you now. Um, the first is right out of the swimming pool. You're going to take one of these pool noodles. You're probably familiar with them. Kids use them as flotation devices in the water. Um, but we're going to cut it in half and make it into a little inspiration stash storage board like this. So first thing, as I mentioned, you want to cut it in half. It's usually easiest for this to use like an X-Acto knife, some kind of sharp craft knife. So this is the before, and this is the after. You can see the how it's smooth on the back and will sit up against a wall nicely. And once you have that done, um, its foamy finish makes it very easy to then take your supplies and add them to the to the noodle. So in this case you can see that there are brads pierced in along here and maybe you just want a brad noodle so you can take your entire brad stash, have it right there at your desk and uh, pierce them in the full length. That would be fantastic. Or if you just want to make it kind of a an all-encompassing noodle like we have, you can do some brads and then you can move on and do some of your paper and silk flowers. These are anchored simply by using a straight pin down the middle and then you just pierce that in place. Uh, keep your favorite photos nearby or those photos you're going to scrap next. Um, pin those on your noodle. Very easy. Even your scraps, so those little bits of ribbon that aren't long enough to go back on the ribbon card, maybe you can put a few of those out here so that you remember to use them. Your to-do list, and of course if you want to just decorate the noodle a little bit, you can do that with some, some ribbon and flowers. So uh, You can get a noodle for a couple of dollars. If there's not a department store near you or it's off-season, you can find them at Amazon.com or online as well. And they usually are very long, um, so you can make several of these if you have a crop group or some friends that you think might want a little storage noodle. Here you go. The next idea is coming from the patio. So we're getting out of the pool, we're heading to the patio where we're, making, where we're going to have a picnic, or in this case, we're going to use a straw dispenser for storage. This is a long, um, skinny cylinder, so it's going to be great for your pens, markers, paint brushes. Um, smaller border sticker, border stickers. It's not quite 12 inches tall, so you can't do a full length border strip or sticker, but if you have scraps or only partial borders, they'd be great in here as well. And it looks fun because it's clear and you can see what's inside, but my favorite part of this is when you open it because, as you see, your supplies will blossom right in front of you, so it's very easy to get in and get the exact supply you need. This is another affordable idea. That's why it's fun to look down the aisle, the seasonal aisle. So many of these things, because they're plastic and they're meant to be outside and be durable, are very cost-effective storage ideas. Our third one, it's kind of a fiesta idea, and it is a salsa or condiment dish. Um, very great because it's got a shallow, they're very shallow dishes or holes here. So you can use your smaller accents and embellishments, put them in here, and they'll be easy to get to, they won't get lost. Whereas sometimes if you use bigger jars, you have to dig and dig and dig. These are small enough that everything will be right at your fingertips. So I have my buttons, just kind of an ordinary storage for me, the plastic bags, where this makes it a lot more colorful and fun. I divided them by color families. It's a little extra organization that way is always nice. Or if you don't have this many buttons in your stash, that you want to do them by color families. Maybe you have one dish just for buttons, one for brads, one for eyelets. So you can certainly alter this idea to meet your specific needs. Okay, go ahead and fill those dishes. Maybe you only want to fill two and put M&Ms in here for a little snacking. That's fine too. It's very versatile. And with my buttons in place, I can leave that as is. Or if I want to further my picnic slash food theme a little bit more, I can bring in some food picks, or in this case, uh, label picks. And these were created simply by um, punching a scrap of paper with a tag-shaped punch, and then using some bitty letter stickers to spell out buttons, and a uh, basic toothpick makes for the food pick aspect of it. And you can, I had one for each color family, so a pink, green, and yellow, and your party can get started. So remember, when it gets hot outside, head inside and use those pool, picnic, and patio ideas. Bring them in and get your scrap room organized.